It's summertime. Let's talk about picnics this summer on a frugal budget. We're going to show you how to feed six people for $12 for an amazing, really fun picnic. Hi, if you don't know me, I'm Hope from Under the Median, where every week on this channel, we talk about practical frugality. Normally, my husband Larry is in front of the camera with me, but tonight he is behind the camera. There's his hand so that he can get all the shots because I'm going to show you how to do a great picnic for this summer that isn't going to heat up your house. Now I'm going to show you how to make three recipes for the picnic. Do not worry about taking notes and trying to get all the ingredients and, and the amounts and things written down because I did a post for you on the website, guys. It is a picnic post and I put all three of these recipes in that post. Not only that, I put three extra recipes in there for you that are also great for summer picnics. So I'll make sure that there's a link to that post listed in the description of this video. Let's get started. So the first thing you need when you're getting ready for a picnic is you probably need an appetizer. So let's make a chickpea walnut lime spread. This spread goes together in about five minutes flat in the food processor. It has that perfect balance of kind of the, almost that hummusy kind of flavor, and it's thick enough that you could spread it on some homemade tortillas or even use it as a dip for crackers or, or for vegetables. Um, but you could also thin it just a little bit, and you could also make it into like a really awesome sauce for maybe on top of some baked potatoes, thin it just a little bit more and you have an amazing salad dressing. All right, let's get started. We have three cups of chickpeas. I'm just gonna pour those in there and then in this order. Oh, oh by the way, guys, so make sure you stick with me till the end because I'll do a nice plate up. I'll show you what a plate of the food would look like. And I did a cost uh, analysis and we'll see if I actually made my goal of feeding six people an amazing picnic spread for uh, $12 or less. To your chickpeas, you're going to add one quarter cup of nutritional yeast, and then one quarter cup walnuts. I went ahead and made them in smaller chunks. Then you're going to add three tablespoons of lime juice. I've made it with fresh. I have made it with the lime juice that comes from, you know, from the bottle. It's equally good both ways. The fresh one is nice. If you choose to use like fresh limes to do this, then make sure that you get some of that yummy lime zest off before you juice your limes and then stick some of that lime zest in here too. And that would be absolutely awesome. All right, now the final two ingredients that we are going to add are one tablespoon of onion powder and one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder. Final ingredient, guys, you want this to have a little bit of a kick. So normally I add Frank's red hot sauce and I don't have it, I just ran out. It's like a sad day in my life. The, the day that I ran out of Frank's red hot sauce, I know. So I'm gonna use a little bit of sriracha sauce. If I were using Frank's red hot sauce, I'd add a little bit more. I'm gonna add just a half of a teaspoon of this and then I'll test it after I get done to see if I feel like it needs more heat or not, but the sriracha sauce tends to have a wee bit of a kick. All the ingredients are in the food processor. We're just gonna flip the food processor to on and we're going to process it. It should look a lot like a hummus when we get done. All right, and there is what it looks like when it's done. Let's put it in a pretty bowl and I will test it. I have testing spoons, guys. If it looks like I'm testing with the same spoon every time, no, I have a bunch of testing spoons. All right, I'm gonna test it. Mm. That's really good, really good. I could use just a little, little bit more heat in it. I might put a little bit more of that sriracha sauce on. I'm gonna do that, I'll put it in a bowl, I'll show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna move on to the second recipe. There's what it looks like in the bowl, and I was right, by the way, guys. I wanted to add a little bit more lime juice. If you were using fresh limes, I do think that that fresh lime flavor would come through better than the bottled version, especially if you put a little bit of the lime zest in there. But I needed to add a little bit more of this. I definitely added that other half teaspoon of the sriracha sauce. And then I also added a healthy sprinkle of my favorite no salt seasoning mix. This is the Kirkland brand. All right, now we have our appetizer done. You can serve it with whatever kind of crackers you want. 
I wanted to, for the sake of frugality, use what I had on hand. <laughs> These are Aldi saltine crackers, all right? I decided that I would use, like if I was going on a picnic, I would take this, this whole sleeve of crackers with us. When I did the cost analysis, it was for the one sleeve of Aldi saltine crackers to go with the dip. Let's move along and let's make a salad, a rice salad, which will be cold. It goes together in about 10 minutes and adds zero heat to your kitchen. Let's make a teriyaki Chinese rice salad. You're going to start with four cups of cold cooked rice. This rice, by the way, is half brown rice and half white rice. Then let's take the base of the solid. So to that, you are going to add a quarter cup. No, this is a half a cup. Okay, sorry, half a cup of carrots. And once again, remember all these recipes are on the website. I'll make sure there's a link for you. Half a cup of carrots a good half a cup of tiny diced onion. Now you can use um, some spring onion if you want to. That's actually what I used in the recipe, but I didn't have any on hand. So once again, this is the land of substitution, right? So you, I'm, I used really finely diced yellow onion. Then we'll add celery. That celery is, let me look at my recipe here, half a cup. This is optional, the tomatoes are, but I think they add some nice color. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of raisins and a quarter cup of walnuts. All right, we're gonna mix those in and you'll see immediately, like lots and lots of color. You'll notice when you go to the recipe at the website that on the original recipe, I actually added um, just a little bit of colored pepper some red or some orange colored pepper and a little bit of cucumber. Once again, I didn't have either of those on hand. And that's one of the reasons that I chose to go ahead and use the tomato, which is optional, because I really did want to have a little bit more color. All right, we're gonna set this to the side and then I'm gonna show you how to make the dressing that goes on top of the salad. All right, we are going to start off with three tablespoons of lime juice. One, two, then I'm going to add two tablespoons of vinegar. Now, traditionally, you're going to use rice wine vinegar for a Chinese dish, but I have this and I think it would be really fun. So I'm gonna try it for that reason alone. I got it reduced for $2.49 on the Markdown shelf at Kroger, and it's a raspberry infused vinegar. So I'm gonna use it. You know, and that's the thing with frugal cooking. Sometimes you have to figure out, um, what you can substitute that you have on hand. Now, I'm going to add all of these dry ingredients. So, you have a couple of tablespoons of sugar. You can use maple syrup if you like. When I have maple syrup on hand, that is what I use. One half teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. Now, let me show you, I made my own. I actually looked the recipe up online and I put all the ingredients together in an old spice bottle and made my own a Chinese five spice powder. If you don't have it, you could use a little bit of cinnamon and you could also use some um, ginger instead of the five spice powder. Then we have a teaspoon of onion powder and one a half teaspoon of garlic powder. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of water that is one half cup of water and then here is the secret ingredient that gives it all the flavor this is teriyaki sauce and you'll see this teriyaki sauce with pineapple juice and i got it reduced at kroger to 59 cents so we are going to add two tablespoons of the teriyaki sauce we'll give this a good whisk and then we will pour it on top of the rice salad May grab a clean tasting spoon before we pour it on top. Oh, that's really good. Really, really good. All right. That goes on top of your salad. And then literally, you're going to mix it, stick it in your refrigerator, let it marinate at least an hour or two before your picnic. So get this ready like in the afternoon before you go out on your picnic in the evening. You've got a great appetizer, you've got a nice salad, but you need a sandwich if you're gonna have a picnic. So let's talk about a very unique sandwich filling. I actually created this recipe several years ago when I managed to get this 
on clearance. <laughs> Broccoli slaw. This is organic. It's from Kroger. It was marked down to $1.72. I used to be able to get it for 99 cents. Now it's marked down to $1.72. But believe it or not, this one bag of sliced up broccoli stems, that's going to become the basis for the sandwich filling and it's going to be a barbecue. Check it out. This is a nonstick pan to which I added just a couple of tablespoons of water. You don't really need oil to saute. I'm going to put one cup of finely diced onion in there, stir it around, and we're just going to cook the onion down until it is softened and translucent. All right, our onion is nicely cooked down. We're simply going to pour in the whole package of broccoli slaw. All right, and you can see this is going to make a lot. It'll cook down a little bit, but it's going to be a lot of sandwich filling, guys. All right, we have one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Use the smoked paprika, guys, not the plain paprika. The smoked paprika makes all the difference in the world. I'm gonna mix that in a little bit. On top of this, we're going to pour on barbecue sauce. This is two cups of barbecue sauce. Normally the barbecue sauce that I use has a lot of smoky flavor to it. This barbecue sauce is okay. I mean, it's good. We got uh, an entire gallon of the barbecue sauce for five bucks from the Amish store. In fact, we did a video where we showed you our whole Amish haul as well as uh, some of the like bulk items that we got from the Amish store. I'll make sure I leave a link to that video in the description of this video in case you haven't watched it. But because I know this barbecue sauce, it's nice sauce, it just doesn't have a lot of smoky flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke, guys. All right, stir it up. Let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes and you're gonna stir it often. As it cooks down, it's gonna lose less and less of that green color from the broccoli and it's gonna look more and more like shredded beef barbecue. This is everything for our amazing picnic. Look at how that barbecue sandwich filling turned out. You see how it darkened as it cooked? So it looks a lot less like green broccoli and a lot more like it is shredded beef. You notice that I put the finished barbecue in this cute little crock pot. Couple of really quick ideas for you. We want to avoid adding heat to the house at all costs during the summertime, right? And we did use the stove top for this, for the demonstration. So we had the stove top on for about 20 minutes. You could actually avoid that by making the whole thing in the crock pot. You can even put the crock pot out on a back patio or put it on your front porch, someplace where the heat isn't going to go into your house at all. You can, however, make it the night before when the temperatures have cooled off. You can stick it in the crock pot insert in your refrigerator, get it out the morning of your picnic and just put it on keep warm. This will keep it insulated between your house and getting to the park. So this is the perfect way not only to cook that barbecue, but it's the perfect way to transport it. I made homemade tortillas to put the sandwich filling in. I actually did an entire video. I didn't show you how to do it on this video because I did a video where I showed exactly how to make these. One of the things I did differently this time though is that I hand rolled these because somebody asked me if I hand rolled them instead of putting them, I do have a tortilla press, which I absolutely love and highly recommend, by the way, guys. It's the Bellamina. I'll make sure there's a link to it in the description of the video. But if you don't have a tortilla press, you can still make homemade tortillas. Here's how thin I can get them. Now you'll notice they're not exactly perfectly round, okay? <laughs> but uh, they they don't take very long to roll, and I can roll them really thin, and look how flexible they are. I'm going to put a plate together and show you how the whole picnic comes together. And remember, stick with me, because after I do that, I'm going to show each finished dish and what each part of the picnic cost us, and we'll see if I actually made it to my goal of feeding six people an amazing picnic spread for $12 or less. Here's what our finished picnic plate looks like. You'll guys see, we even put like a snazzy picnic tablecloth down for you so you could like get the whole ambience of what your picnic is gonna look and feel like. We have the really flavorful walnut lime chickpea spread and the crackers to go with it. 
Then we have the Chinese teriyaki rice salad. And you'll notice that I made homemade tortillas. And inside of here, we have that barbecue. And also I put a couple of little slices of tomato in there along with some vegan cheddar cheese. And lest you think that I forget dessert, I did not forget dessert. Uh, these are some sliced strawberries along with some vegan yogurt. Now, the yogurt is plain, so I added a little bit of cinnamon and sugar to the top of the yogurt. I even took a special drink into consideration. This is herbal tea. If you have mint in your backyard, mint is generally readily available all over the place. Just get a little bit of mint sprig, plant it in your backyard, and believe me, it will spread pretty much all over your backyard. And uh, so the mint and the herbal tea were free to make, and I made sun tea. So there, I even used solar power to make the tea. So this is no cost. Let's take a look at each item and what each item actually cost us to make, and then I'm gonna give you my drum roll and a grand total. The walnut lime chickpea spread was $1.15 to make. The crackers that we're serving with that, remember, these are the ones from Aldi's. That's all I had, guys. 45 cents were the crackers from Aldi. The teriyaki Chinese rice salad, $2.70. A little bit of the cost upgrade on this is the fact that we added walnuts and raisins, and both of those are a little bit higher priced items. And the really yummy barbecue broccoli sandwich filling, $2.30 to make the whole batch. Just a reminder that I made these homemade tortillas. These are about six or seven cents each for each tortilla. And then we also had a couple of optional items and the optional items that you might want to add to your sandwich. There's a little slice of tomato. And then I got this plant-based cheddar style um, slices. There were 10 slices in here. This was on sale at Kroger for $2. We'll be using this for dessert. This is that almond milk yogurt. Well, dollop that on top of some sliced berries. This was about $2.50 this week at Kroger for two pounds. Are you ready? Grand total for everything that I showed you. The grand total to make this entire meal. Now this is without the extras. It's gonna go a little bit over if you add that vegan cheddar cheese and if you add the slices of tomato. But the grand total for this picnic right here in front of you is to feed six people. The total for six people, guys, was $11.90. And remember my goal was no more than $12. Now, if you add the extras in, it's gonna go a little bit over that. It's gonna be about $13.30 for six people. But either way, whatever you decide, this is an amazing picnic meal that won't heat up your house in the summer. It's healthy and it's incredibly frugal. I mentioned these homemade tortillas and the fact that I had done an entire video a little bit earlier this year on how to make these tortillas. And I gave you some ideas on how to use homemade tortillas, really unique ideas that maybe you haven't thought of before. If you wanna watch that video, that video is right over there, go take a look.